all the time. Lord, if I have did something out of, out of pocket, please let me know so I won't do it no more. And he will show you. Now, when he shows you, you got to stop it. Go ahead and read. Keep back thy servant also from presumptuous you know, sin. sinning over and over again. Like I said, one day I said, man, I just wish I could just get on my knees one time and just say, thank you, Lord, for not letting me see in this day. I ain't made it yet. I ain't made it, but I'm working on it. I'm working to perfection. Because that is what the Lord wants us to do. He wants us to walk perfect before him. And what is perfect? His law. Go ahead and read. Let them not have dominion over me. Uh -huh. Then shall I be upright, and I shall be innocent from the great transgression. And that great transgression is the lake of fire. You don't want no, you, you, you don't want to go, you don't have nothing to deal with that great transgression to get you in that fire. That's death. Let's go a little further. See what Moses, let's see what Moses gave Joshua. What he is called. Let's go to Psalms, the, uh, Joshua, the first chapter. Joshua, first chapter, we're going to pick it up at verse 5. Joshua 1, and we're going to pick it up at verse 5. Joshua 1, and we're going to pick it up at verse 5. This is out the Moses, the Lord took Moses out, and Israel is getting ready to go, pack, go into the land, and the Lord is going to instruct Joshua here. He's going to let him, to be, let him know to be a good courage, be strong. That's all we all should be. Be strong. Be of good courage. Your king is coming. Joshua 1 and 5. When you get there, go ahead and read. There shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. And the Lord won't forsake you. You might go through a little something, but the Lord is right there when you're being obedient. You know, and I, I, I'm, you know, I love when I see my God work. You know, sometimes you get yeah. to doubting a little bit, but then the Lord show you his strong power. You say, man, and he makes sure you know that it was him that delivered. Yeah. Go ahead and read. Be strong and of good courage, for unto this people shall thou divide for an inheritance the land which I swear unto their fathers to give them. Go ahead. Only be thou strong and very courageous that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law uh -huh. which Moses, my servant, commanded thee. See, who gave it to him? Which Moses. Because Moses, is what, he put the, Lord gave him the word to give the people. He is the one that gave Israel the law. But it came from, from God. He was the lawgiver. He is the one that gave Israel the law. Because all, all through the scriptures say what Moses taught, what Moses, even the Pharisees, we, we, Moses, we believed in what Moses say because he was the lawgiver. He is the one that implemented the law to Israel, but it came from God. Go ahead and read. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left, uh -huh. that thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou go. And a lot of people don't understand. Don't you know you talking about you're broke? Just keep the law. That's the real prosperity teaching. Keep the law. And I don't have to be rich with material things. Be rich in Christ. Because when you're rich in Christ, you're loaded. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go ahead and read. This book of the law shall not depart out of the mouth, uh, out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. And that is what the Lord wants you to do. Meditate in this thing. Think on this thing at all times. Because when you're meditating in this word, you won't do wrong. It's just when we get outside this world, we blow the mission. Get to do what we want to do. Go ahead and read. That thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. And if you want good success, just keep the law, sisters and brothers. Let's see what Jesus came preaching. Let's, let's see what, but so we done found out Moses was the lawgiver, right? Let's see what Jesus is. Let's go to Genesis, the 49th chapter. And I do mean Genesis, the 49th chapter. This is, we're going to look at Jacob. When Jacob started blessing all his sons. Now, Jesus, he came out of the tribe of Judah. And we're going to see how Jacob blessed Judah. Genesis 49, and we're going to pick it up at verse 8. Genesis 49, and we're going to pick it up at verse 8. See, you see Jesus all in the scriptures. Jesus is all in this Old Testament. 
The only reason you don't see Jesus in the Old Testament, you don't want to see it. You don't want to see it. Look at this blessing that Jacob gave Judah. Go ahead and read. Judah, thou art he whom thy brethren shall praise. Uh -huh. Thy hand shall be in the neck of thy enemies. Go ahead. Thy father's children shall bow down before thee. Go ahead. Judah is the lion's whelp. Ain't Jesus the lion of Judah? Go ahead and read. From the prey, my son, thou art gone up. Go ahead. He stooped down. He couched as a lion and as an old lion who shall rouse because him up. Because when the Lord returns, ain't nobody going to be able to deal with him. All knees going to bow down to him. He going to be letting it not be known that he is the ruler. Go ahead and read. The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor a lawgiver from between his feet. Well, the scepter represent rulership, right? But then he say, nor, nor a lawgiver from between his feet. Until when? Until Shiloh come. And who is Shiloh? None other than Jesus. He is the lawgiver because quiet is kept. He is the one that gave Moses the law. He is the original lawgiver. Moses was called a lawgiver and he is the lawgiver. Finish reading that. And unto him shall the gathering of the people be. And he also is going to gather the people. And we're going to read some of that. Because Moses talked about that also. Go ahead and read. Binding his foe unto the vine, and his ass his coat unto the choice vine. He washed his garments in wine, and his clothes in the blood of grace. And we know there ain't nobody but the Messiah. You go in Zechariah and read exactly like that. Let's look at it some more. Let's go to Deuteronomy. Because he, he, we found out that Moses was, was, was the lawgiver, and we found out the master, he is called the lawgiver. Now let's see what he said about this law. Because nowadays you got everybody that want to do away with the law. I don't see that nowhere in the scriptures. So let's see what Moses came preaching. Let's go to Deuteronomy, the fourth chapter. Deuteronomy, the fourth chapter. And we're going to pick it up at verse 1. Deuteronomy 4 and 1. 4 and 1. Deuteronomy 4. And we're going to pick it up at verse 1. 4 and 1. Go ahead and read. This is, this is Moses talking to Israel because they're about to go into the land. Go ahead and read. Now, therefore, hearken, O Israel, unto the statutes and unto the judgments which I teach you, for to do them, that ye may live and go in and possess the land which the Lord God of your fathers giveth you. And not only would it make you live good now, but it is, it'll have everything which you get in eternal life, providing you come under the blood of Jesus. Go ahead and read. Ye shall not add unto the word which I command and the first you. first thing Moses said, don't you add to this thing. Go ahead and read. Neither shall you diminish out from and it. And don't you take nothing away from it. Amen. Go ahead and read. That ye may keep the commandments of the Lord your God, which I commend you. Go ahead. Your eyes have seen what the Lord did, because Baal Peor, for all the men that follow Baal Peor, the Lord thy God have destroyed them from among you. And the Lord is still in that same business. Well, we don't serve Baal Peor, but you're celebrating Christmas. You're dealing with Easter. You're dealing with all the hop goblins and all that on Halloween. They ain't dealing with the true and living God. That's dealing with some kind of pagan deity. Go ahead and read. But ye that did cleave unto the Lord your God are alive every one of you this day. Go ahead. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord my God commanded me, that ye should do so in the land whither ye go to possess it. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations. And this is your wisdom to this day in your understanding in the sight of all nations. And I say it, and I say it all the time. I don't care what people say when it comes to asking, needing to know something out of the Bible, and you keeping these laws and these stuff, they're going to come to you. Because you are walking upright, and the Lord has given you the understanding to give them. Because there's something when they can ask you a question, you can tell it right out, and you make it so plain and simple to them. It just blow them away. But they still don't like what you're doing. <laughs> right. <laughs> Go ahead and read. We shall hear all these statutes 
and say, surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. And, they, they, and they'll tell you that. Well, go over to such and such house. You know, just ask them the question, then you leave right away. Don't stay there. <laughs> then the Sunday school teacher try to do a lesson on it and blow the mission. Because they ain't with them. Because you, you can't just know this thing. You got to live this word. That's how when God is with you, you got to live it. You got to apply it to your life. Go ahead and read. For what nation is there so great who have God so nigh unto them as the Lord our God is in all things that we call you upon him God for? You want God to be near to you? Just keep these commandments. That's all you got to do. That is why when you know that the Lord is with you. Go ahead and read. And what nation is there so great that have statutes and judgments so righteous as all this law which I set before you this day? You want to walk in righteousness? Keep the law. That is your righteousness, walking in the law. Go ahead and read. Only take heed to thyself and keep thy soul diligently, lest thou forget the things which thine eyes have seen, and lest they depart from thy heart all the days of thy life. But teach them thy sons and thy sons' sons. And that is what we're supposed to do. This, every generation should understand this word, should know why they're walking in this thing. You know, I got grandkids. And they understand, and I tell them all the time, when the Sabbath day comes, they know what time it is. Shut down. They go to school, hey, we can't eat that. God don't want us to do that. And they won't, won't let nothing move them. Because we have taught our children. And our children won't let nobody fool them. Skip on down, but what is this law called? Go ahead and skip on down to uh, verse uh, 13 and read. And he declared unto you his covenant, which he commanded you to perform, even ten commandments, and he wrote them upon two tables of stone. Don't you know he gave us the covenant, the ten commandments? But this is Moses. He said, don't add, don't take away, and keep them. But you may live long, right? Well, let's see what the master said. He came with the same doctrine, didn't he? A prophet unto like him, right, like Moses. See the doctrine that Jesus came with. Let's go to Matthew, the fifth chapter. Because when you're when you talking about having long life, you're talking about living forever, right? And that's what I'm trying to do. Matthew 5 and 17. This is Jesus when he first came on the scene preaching on the mount. One of the first things he said. Nobody wants to read this. You have to strangle one of them preachers to get here. Matthew 5 and 17, 5 and 17. Go ahead and read. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. First thing the Lord lets you know, I ain't coming to destroy no law. I'm coming to fulfill. And he still got some fulfilling to do. Because a lot of stuff had to happen still that the prophets wrote about. Go ahead and read. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot and one tittle, shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. Is there still a heaven? Ain't we walking on this earth? So the law is still good. He said, he said don't add from it, don't take away, right? Go ahead and read some more. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. So if you take away something and don't teach man to, hey man, you're going to be called least in the kingdom of God. In other words, you ain't going to make it. But if you keep it and teach others to do it, this is what's going to happen. Go ahead and read. But whosoever shall do and teach them. Who, who is whosoever? whosoever? Any and everybody. Go ahead and read. The same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. So if you're going to be called great in the kingdom of heaven, that means you're going to make it, right? Amen. So in order to make it, you're going to have to teach this law, right? That is why we teach the law. Because the law is what shows you what is right and what is wrong. Go ahead and read, man. For I say unto you, that except your righteousness shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, ye shall in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven. And that is so true. Because, you know, the Pharisees, they'll tell people to do, but they wouldn't do themselves. Go ahead and uh, skip on. We're going to look at some of the stuff that they, was in this law. Skip on down to, uh, skip on down to uh, verse uh, 27 and read. You have heard that it was said well, by no, the... no, read 21. Yeah. You have heard that it was said 